So I'm sure that you guys are all familiar with the old third hand, you know, for soldering. Been around for ages. But recently, I saw a third hand made out of these coolant pipe type dilly wobbles. You know, they're incredibly flexible. Uh, they're plenty stiff. You know, take an alligator clip. Real nice. But uh, they wanted like 50 bucks for the ones I've seen. And yeah, I'm not paying 50 bucks for a bunch of plastic, even if it does have a nice anodized aluminum base. So let's make our own. All right, if you saw the Slow Boat from China episode number eight, you saw I bought a package of 10 of these. They're a foot long, which makes them just a little bit too high for my use. So I took two of them and took about four inches off. Now that's going to work out much better. So what's next? Well, they need a base. They have these handy fittings on here, but I don't have a drill bit that big. So I've got another plan. I found this old Christmas stocking holder thing had some trees on top of it here. And with just a little persuasion, the insides come out and we've got this and this. And we can mount this right here. So I need to drill a couple holes for these bolts to fit up through which will fit up inside here and I think we'll be golden. I'm going to drill those holes and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. I mean, one of the holes is a little big, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it ain't really going to matter. Little hot glue to hold that in place there. Do the same for the other one. This is just to temporarily hold them in. while I get the next parts ready. All right, so next up we have the nozzles and the alligator clips, which actually fit in there pretty well. But I'm gonna give them the hot lunch treatment too. just for shits and giggles. I know some epoxy would be uh, probably the better choice. But we're just going to use some hot glue in this situation here. It should work just fine. It is at this juncture I would like to announce a change in plans. I'm not going to put the orange nipples back on. We're just going to put some bigger clamps in. That'll be real nice. So, let's see how my plan works here. guns. Aren't they fun? Hmm. 
There we are. Now we'll let that cool for a couple that of minutes. Seems... Well and cooled. So next step. And now we can put it back on its nice little weighted base. And the pièce de résistance. If the pièce de résistance is gonna fit in one of these holes or not. Oh yes. So I'm just going to throw some more schmoo on here. And squidgy that down. And there you have it my friends. A third hand. completely bendable, flexible, ready for heavy duty soldering work. And for less than $10. So, if you are interested in these what are called flexible coolant lines, check out the Slow Boat from China episode number eight. And you'll find a link at the bottom where you can get them very inexpensively. And, that link is my Amazon affiliate link. So if you buy them from there, I get to get my beak wet and get a few cents. And you get to feel really good about helping to support this channel. So that's it. If you guys like this, give me the old thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.